What are we learning today, Missy, in early childhood? Today, we're going to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carlisle. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, the little egg laid on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up. Pop! The egg came. A tiny, very little caterpillar popped out. He started looking for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and a slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday. Again, the caterpillar ate through one green leaf and after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. He was a large caterpillar, and he had a big, fat belly. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed in for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. So this week, we are reading stories and we are creating a craft to go along with it. You can take a toilet paper tube and cut it up. Any supplies you want, ribbon, marker, googly eyes, tissue paper, and make your own caterpillar. You can also take a coffee filter, take markers, color it, put a little bit of alcohol and water on it, squish it up, and then take your coffee filter and turn it into a butterfly and then these you can hang on your windows and decorate them. Since we really can't go out and about this week, this would be something fun to do to decorate the windows of your house. Have a great day. Thanks for enjoying our video today. If you enjoyed what you saw, give us a like, subscribe below. We'll see you next time.